Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we will be talking about my new eyeshadow palettes. Okay, that's a lie. My new palettes. So these are products, you, most of these I've gotten in a subscription, a monthly subscription. Some of them I bought on my own. Some of them, yeah, those are the only two options. I got them in the subscription box or I bought them on my own. Um, none of these were gifts, really, uh, or at all. So we're going to be talking about them, which ones I love, which ones are kind of like in the middle, which ones I really just don't even like. Um, there are only nine here, so this video should not take a long, but I'm super excited to film it because we have some goodies here that I just love talking about and love playing with. Um, so I really wanted to talk about them. Um, so let's make this fast while I make a long intro. Go check out any other video that I filmed. Um, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell everybody and the mama to subscribe. I wish I didn't mess that up because that would have been so, like, cool. <laughs> Tell everyone and their mom to subscribe. Let's get this out of the way. My hair is wetting my shirt, and it's annoying. I know. I also cut my hair. I feel like everyone should know that, too. Clearly. And um, we got some highlights in here, but when it's wet, you can hardly tell. It's slowly starting to dry, so you can see it more. But, um... Yeah, that's basically it. Let's just get started. Okay, so in the intro, I kind of said that they're, like, favorites middle least favorites so i feel like i kind of have favorites really like just don't use a lot kind of i really want to use but i just don't and then don't use at all so i feel like now i've broken up into four sections but we're gonna start should we start from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom let's go from worst to best so that we're ending on a good note how about that so the two palettes that are kind of like subpar to me, um, one of these I got in Ipsy Glam Bag, the other one I got in BoxyCharm, so which is kind of funny because I go back and forth which one I want, um, and it is always like some products I love from one month, some products I hate from like one box and one products I hate from another box. It just always goes back and forth, and these two palettes are definitely tied for bottom um, in my newest palettes, if not all of my palettes, really. Um, this one, the first one is from the Ipsy. So this is the Wander Beauty Wanderers Seascape Eyeshadow Palette. I was really excited for this palette. It looks beautiful. It looks super nice. Um, it has a nice mirror, and the shades just look stunning. They look beautiful. They swatch pretty, pretty nicely, honestly. Um, the only thing is that I'm not a super huge fan of foiled eyeshadows. Um, the one day I wore one of these and the shadows just fell all over my eyes. You can see the loose glitters. I'm just, I'm not a fan. Certain shades like the shade, um, let me swatch it, like the shade Coastal, they look nice. I just don't know like what I'd be putting together here with these shades. I rarely reach for this palette and honestly, I don't do my makeup every single day by any means but when i'm doing a video or something like that i want to do a creative look something fun and this palette is just one that i'm not reaching for um i have to play around with it i have to force myself to play around with this to see how i really feel because they're, they're beautiful they're just not like everything i want in eyeshadow i don't know they're for me they don't call my name some people will be like girl you're bugging those are beautiful but for me it's just like i don't really really want to use that 24 7. the only thing i do have to say is i need to i wonder if um this brand wander beauty if they have it on matte's palette because this matte in here is literally my favorite thing of life and it sucks because i barely reach into the because of this um because i don't like the rest of the shades i barely reach into the shade but this shade, the sand dollar shade, it's um, it's the only matte shade in the palette, is amazing. The matte just blends so beautifully. I've heard other people talk about it too. That's how you know, like, it's good. It is just the perfect matte shade. It's probably one of the best matte shades I've tried in my life. So butter soft, everything. It is everything you want in an eyeshadow, uh, matte eyeshadow. And I love that. So I wonder if they have an all matte palette. Um, if they do, maybe let me know. I might look into it to see if I can... Not switch them out, but kind of get rid of this one and get an all matte palette from them because I do like that matte way better than any other shade in that palette. But other than that, I just don't use a palette. And even though that shade is so amazing to me, I just don't use it because the rest of the shades are kind of like meh meh. So that's why it's kind of like the bottom um, eyeshadow. It's just not, not my thing. And you can see all the glitters on my hand. Ugh, annoying. All right, another kind of fail product. This is from my BoxyCharm. So I did just get this one this month. Yes, I did just get this one this month. So it's kind of like, is it a really good opinion? Maybe not. But this is the Butter London um, Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. Again, packaging, 100 
points it's beautiful 10 out of 10 so stunning um the nice mirror in here it's super cute everything about this palette screams amazing and it does scream natural goddess to me especially the shades um except for this blue <laughs> it's really hard because it's super reflective this shot this this palette looks so beautiful just like i don't know what it is it just doesn't call my name the only thing that i really want to use is honestly this brown and it just looks like a really nice brown i think i used it yeah i had done the video with this use the eyeshadow palette and then i recreated kathleen light's look um that she did with this palette and i used this brown and it's really really nice and the shades that she used were nice i just like the blue is the only thing that kind of is makes this palette not a neutral palette and not a normal palette like every other palette and the blue shade sucks the blue shade is just terrible it's just not what you want in a shade it's super hard to pick up anything super like it's just dry and it's just not a good shade honestly it's not a good shade um it's the only thing that makes this palette different i do really like the shade Ent enchantress enchantress and enchantress why can't i say that and queen um diva looks pretty stunning as well um, but those are the three neutral shades in the palette. So it's like, why am I, why do I need this palette if it's, you know, just like every other sh 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 uh, palette I have. I was going to say shadows and I was not going to curse, but, uh, uh, but you know what I mean? So this palette is just kind of bleh. I never really want to use it. Um, I have to, again, again, I have to force myself to see what I really, really, really feel about it. Like about the quality and stuff like that. I just need to use it more because I don't use it enough to know like I hate this quality. But they see like because see like these look beautiful. The brown is nice. The blue is just terrible. And the, like these shades just don't call my name. They don't make me want to use the palette every single day of my life. And then we're going to get into palettes where I'm like, I want to use this every single day, even when I don't wear makeup or even when, like, I know I shouldn't be wearing makeup. I want to wear makeup and I want to wear that certain thing. That's what makes me want to wear makeup. So I wish every palette I felt like that um, about these two just are not it, you know? Look in the packaging on both of these is so super cute. Like, what were you doing? You're working on the packaging and not the quality. Like, hello, get it together. Sorry, rant over. All right, next up is, again, one step a little bit further. further. I really like it, but I just don't use it. Um, is that this one? This one? Oh, no, no, no. This one's kind of like, meh, I don't know how I feel about it. That's what this one is. So this is the Tarte um, BU Naturally eyeshadow palette. I love this packaging as well. I love the mirror. I love everything about this palette. I love all of the shades. I just don't really use it. And I feel like this one's kind of like meh because I really have only used it maybe a half a time. I haven't even done a full look using it. And that's just because um, I just feel like, again, it's one of those neutral palettes like this. Um, but this one, okay, this is just like one of those any neutral palettes you can see. Those shades are probably the same shades in the other um, palette from the um, Butter London one. They're probably the exact same because they're just neutral shades. This one, though, just, first of all, the smell is amazing. But it just calls my name. It just makes me want to, like, eat, eat it because it's so beautiful and so cute i just want to put it all over my eyes i really do it's just like again i'm going for more colorful more fun creative looks when i do do looks and so this one is probably gonna have to wait until fall ish even fall winter to get used maybe even spring because it looks kind of springy the pink kind of makes it springy and the shadows look beautiful but um this one's gonna have to probably wait until uh fall or until i'm wearing makeup every day because i know that i can get some everyday great everyday makeup looks from this and when i did use it i did like the quality of it so it wasn't like off the bat like the butter line one off the bat was like nah, nah. this one it was not like that so that's why this one's kind of like so so i feel like again i really have to use this one more just to really get how i feel um but it's probably gonna have to wait until like fall something like that it's packaging though it's done uh all these packagings 10 out of 10 what are they doing all right next up again is kind of one step above it's kind of like i don't use these i don't know why but i do um these this one i guess ah this one i'm just torn on one of them i'm torn on so we'll just talk about the last kind of one two three four five six six together because these are kind of like some i really love them but i just really some of them i just don't use a lot <laughs> i'm just gonna talk about it all right so next up i guess would be this ipsy and tetris block party palette so first off i love this packaging i do not like this packaging like i really wish this was on this so i didn't have to keep both but this one just looks nicer to me like it's cuter i don't know this one is just kind of like <laughs> i don't know anyway this is the what it looks like on the outside it is huge the eyeshadow palette is ginormous has a nice mirror it has a small mirror but it's nice um my only complaint with this is these two shades i wish they would have just went all colored and kind of threw in like a green and a 
orange or something or green and a yellow anything like that i know people would have complained that there's no mattes in it the only hard thing is that like who's gonna use these two mattes with any of these shades nobody nobody because it doesn't even make sense i mean i guess like it's really hard to even tell but like what that's sick nobody does that <laughs> that doesn't even look good together oh my gosh that shade bro swatched beautifully but um, those don't even look good together. So I'm just like, why would you even do that? Why? Why? You should have just made it all colors because these colors look stunning. Again, this is one that I just love. I just, I don't know what it is. I just love it. I just have to use it more. I have to use those matte shades more too because I don't really use them. Because again, who's going to use that? them together nobody but anyway i really just love this eyeshadow palette i love the whole idea behind it i think they could have done the packaging a little bit better this one this is the one i was talking about where like the quality is really good and the shades are really good the packaging is just like where the other ones are like really great packaging just the quality is like but um yeah that one's really this one's kind of easy because i don't use it often i have used some of those shimmer shades and i really really do like them i just have to again use it more and kind of really tell you Oh, I have four eyeshadow palettes here that I said I need to use more. We've got a lot to do. A lot to do. But again, those are all. Like that one, I have to. I can put out here on my vanity, actually. Uh, on my vanity. I always say that because other YouTubers say that. I have to put it out here on my desk because so that I remember to use it. Because those are fun and creative shades that I can use and make a cool look out of. Honestly, so I'm just going to leave that one out here to remember. The rest of them are probably going to have to wait until I'm ready to do some neutral looks which I'm probably not. Um, okay, so next up again, this is the, oh my gosh, this is the one I was kind of torn on. This is the ColourPop Main Squeeze eyeshadow palette. The minute this came out, I bought it because I was so excited. It's so beautiful and I love reds on my eyes. I just love them. Warm tones, anything, but like literally reds are my favorite to put on my eyes. This mirror is beautiful. Um, the shades are stunning. I just rarely use this. I don't, maybe it's just because, again, because I love red so much, it's nothing really creative. It's kind of just same old, same old. So I don't use it too much, and I might use it a lot more in the fall. But I really, really love every single one of these shades. Like, there's not one shade that I'm like, meh, I hate. The rest of them, I just, re I really, really love. Um, Baywatch is probably the only one that I'm not really going to get a lot of use out of. Because it's just like this deep, weird shade. I don't know what it is, but it's just not my favorite. It's down here. The rest of them, again, stunning. Even red bottoms just looks <laughs> beautiful. I just want to put it all over my eye. I just want to put pack that on the inner, outer corner. Ugh, beautiful. And the shade Froze, for, I think it's Froze. I don't know, but this one right here, stunning. So I really do love this palette. Again, I just don't use it a lot. This one, though, I have my opinion on. Like, I've used it enough when I first got it to know that I love this palette, love the quality. ColourPop shadows are probably... Uh, I don't know. They're just amazing. They're most consistent, I feel like. Even their Dream Sheet palette, um, compared to this, they're just great. So, I really like these. I feel like I haven't had a shadow from ColourPop that I just, I don't like. All of them I've liked so far. So, um, I really do love this one. This one's kind of like in the middle, though, because I'm just not using it right now. Um, but I feel like it's just one that I do, do really love. All right, so let's go into my love loves. Uh, all of them has been have been eyeshadow palettes. There's one face palette. That's why I just wanted to do palettes um, because I just got a face palette in my Glam Bag Plus. But, um, yeah, so let's finish off with the eyeshadow palettes and we'll do the face palette. So the next palette is my Laura Lee Los Angeles. The next three are Laura Lee Los Angeles. But this is Laura Lee Los Angeles Sleigh Bell palette. And, girl, first off, my palette is a mess already. And I, like, just got these. But it's because I used the crap out of these. I'm wearing the shade Jolly on my eyes right now and i just i live for it i live for this palette i wanted this palette so bad when it came out in christmas and i just never got it i just didn't have the money to grab it and my sister bought me a different palette sh um another color pop palette instead of this one which was fine because i wanted one or the other but this palette is beautiful i've used these four shades right here i have not used wrapped up yet or festive we can swatch those two actually to see how we like them Oh, those are stunning. Okay, the shade Jolly is beautiful. It's on my eyes, like I said. It is, like, so pretty. I put it on top of a purple, but I think that there is a little bit of purple reflect in it that I really, really love. The shade Cherry Chocolate is probably... I always say this when I see this kind of shade, but this is probably my favorite shade of life. Um, again, like I've said a million times, it is just so beautiful. It is the perfect shade ever, I feel like. Um, the shade Wish List... I, wish List... I love for the inner corner. Beautiful. All over the lid, it's going to look stunning too, but I just haven't done a look with that yet. I just only done it on the inner corner, and I just I live for it. And then the shade Bright Lights is a great setting shade, like nothing really too 
much about that some people use that as like an inner corner highlight brow bone shade like they use matte cream shades i don't but i use that for the setting of the thing and it is really great for that so this palette definitely 10 out of 10 no complaints at all um i make a huge mess myself like there's nothing to there's nothing there that's nothing to do with the eyeshadow i think again it is a great size and i love these baby palettes because they make me want to use them so much like my huda beauty little palette i just want to use it all the time because it's so little and i love these they're perfect they're perfect size i just i love them she needs to come out with more of these because i will buy them all i love them so much i keep saying that but i do i love it and the packaging uh 10 out of 10 for sure um these are slowly starting to become my like favorite palettes it's so weird it's so weird but all three of them not like separately like we'll just talk about that later next is the Lori los angeles party animal palette so this is the colored one again super messy just because mm -hmm, i love this palette um and i have been using it for the past few days um i've used she drinks damage control karaoke Oh, not karaoke. I've used to say Jinx, Dranx, Damage Control, and Hungover. So I've used three out of the four shades. This one's a little bit hard to fully say how I feel because um, all colors are so different. It is just so hard to see what you like in a palette by not using all the shades. So the shades, um, Dranx was amazing. The shade hung, uh, Hungover was beautiful. It's in my crease right now. And you can hardly see the shimmer in it but you can if like i was to put it on my lid you could see it so i really like that shade um and then damage control is actually in my crease i'm not a huge fan of it because it doesn't look super blue but i have to try packing it on like packing it on the corner and stuff because i use a blending brush and not all shades just look good with a blending brush um honestly uh so i'm not a huge fan of that one but i really do love this palette i feel like i get look at it and i just want to do so many creative looks with it and it's not overwhelming like i don't feel like i'm gonna drown in colors um, I feel like it's just going to be, I can just look at it and just be like, hey, I want to do this. And it's fine. It's going to turn out great. So I'm really excited um, about this palette. And I do really love it. Quality, not as good as Slay Bell. Slay Bell all around is 10 out of 10. This one is probably like 7 or 8 out of 10. Just because damage control is not um, as pretty in the crease as I'd like it to be. And then I actually haven't used the other three shades, which are a must when you... Um, I feel like you're, you're using colors. A lot of shimmers. Like, if I had a whole shimmer palette, I use 9 out of 10 shimmer palettes. Odds are number 10 is going to be the same if they're all just shimmers. Um, but when it comes to colors, I feel like, like, real colors, I feel like it's just so hard because, like, even the pink has to have um, flux of glitter in it, I've heard, because it makes the formula better but not all the time can you see it on the eye you can see it right there but not all the time you can see the glitters on the eye so it's kind of like it's not a shimmer shade it's just like needs glitter to be a nice formula you know so it's just super weird and you have to try all of them the shade it's a party i it's a party i gotta see how i'm gonna use that one because i don't know but we're gonna do some more creative looks and i really again i love this palette it's super inspiring um, again, like 7 or 8 out of 10. I have to use the rest of them and then I will update you. But as of now, 7 or 8 out of 10. All right. And then last out of the um, Laura Lee Les Angeles, this is the Boss Babe palette. Again, I... This probably... Okay, no, I think I love Slay Bell is probably my favorite, but this is definitely a really close second because I can literally do any any everyday shade. And here's my favorite shade of life. This is 9 to 5. My Again, my favorite shade. Just perfect, warm, beautiful shade that just looks beautiful and I just want to bite. The shade Hustler, oh my gosh, is stunning. I put the, did a look with this and put it on my Instagram and someone was like, I need that shade. And I'm like, you do because it is amazing. So here's the shade Hustler. I'm blinding you this is the shade ceo right here i'm swashing all over the place and this is the shade on the grind and i just i love them this palette is perfect for every day the brown the cream this the this has six shades in it and it is the perfect shades for every day if you need one palette to just do your makeup for work for a for every day it's it's perfect it has everything you need in it and although you're not going to get super like a lot a lot of variety you at least have three shimmers i can use switch up every day you can even put this on your lid one day you can even just do put this in the crease call it a day you don't even need to do anything like that um the brown you could put uh this in the crease put this in the outer corner and call that a day literally um and it's just it's just stuff like that or even throw this in the crease and throw this on the inner corner or 
throw sorry this one in the inner corner and just go like that again super stunning so it's super natural and you can have so many looks out of it and it's only six shades this is the perfect palette i just i live for this palette the thing is that i love all these palettes together because they give you each different things again like you have um definitely your natural boss babe sleigh bell is definitely like you just want to slay and then um hus uh party animal is definitely like party on the nights like she themed these very well and i hope she keeps with like the theme of like the palettes are on for okay okay occasions because it's just perfect it's perfect and like every shade in them are every shade in them is perfect for the theme so again really love these um probably slowly becoming my favorite eyeshadow palettes I, every time i do my eyes i'm like i want those i want those i want those and i pull all three of them out and sit them out here um they've been sitting on my desk for a while now so i live for those all right, let's move on real quick so this video is not a million years long. The last palette is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I did just get this in a um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, I wanted to mention this one just because it is a new palette that I want to talk about. Um, I love this palette. I just, I love, love it. Um, my, probably my only complaint is that I wish it was called a face palette. I don't know why they called it the 3D highlighter palette. Even though they're all like shimmer shades, shimmery shades, it's this is a bronzer, this is a blush, and these two are highlighters. So why is it just not a face palette? I don't know. It's a, kind of annoying and misleading, but it's really just like a face palette. So I don't know why they called it that. Anyway, and then her face is literally everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, please stop. I don't want to throw it out though because I don't want the creams and like the creams and the powders to go everywhere. So I feel like this kind of protects it. Um, but I'm like, why is your face on it? whatever so this is for um this is actually the cream highlight you can put it on before obviously all your powders i do like that one especially on days where i just want some blush and some highlight and i just put on cream blush cream highlight and go i really love this one for that you can see i'm getting a lot of use out of it this oh and that's just said barbados barbados and this is the shade Maldives, and this is um to set so it actually goes after all your makeup obviously it's just a regular highlighter basically um yeah, just a basic highlighter. I have it on right now. And then this is the shade Aruba. This is to sculpt. So, obviously, to mention shapes, it's like a contour shade um, slash bronzer. I don't really contour or bronzer. Like, I don't differentiate between the two. I just slap it on my cheeks and go. But um, this shade is so shimmery that I'm... I'm not going to use it a lot. I do like it when I did. I did like it when I did use it. It's just not going to be a favorite just because it is so shimmery. I'll definitely take this palette like if I go on vacation again or something like that. I know I'm going on a trip soon, a beach trip soon. So I'm definitely going to bring this palette. Um, but just that bronzer is kind of like, that's the only thing that's like kind of slightly like, eh. But it is cool to have now something that uh, when I want to step out my comfort zone, I can. And I can trust it because the quality is so good. And then the last shade is Bora Bora, and again, this is for your blush, and I actually am wearing it now. Again, I live for this blush. I love that blush, and I love this, I love this entire palette. I just, Huda Beauty, I was really shook because I was not expecting to, like, love this. I was like, I don't need it, but girl, you need it. It is great. Um, the blush doesn't beat my, like, tart blush or anything like that. It is just beautiful, and the glow is just stunning. Eh, stunning. 10 out of 10 with this palette. Again, I don't want her face everywhere. And it should be called a face palette. But we're going to let those things slide because the quality is so good. But for all in all, these are probably my favorites right now. I'm really living for these four right now. I just can't put them down. Um, the Laura Lee Los Angeles and the Huda Beauty one. These are the ones that I'm just like, hey, I want to use these all the time. These ones I want to want to use so badly. They're, I'm gonna get, they're gonna get their time to shine, but soon. Um, this tart one is just gonna have to wait until fall, probably. And then these ones are both, I'm really not inspired to use these at all. And really, guys, that is it for this video. Um, yeah, let me know what eyeshadow palettes you're loving for sure. Please comment them down below so I can check them out. Um, if you want me to do a dedicated video to all my Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes, because I do have cat's pajamas as well, um, please let me know. I just don't have Nudie Patootie. I don't really want that one. Um, we'll see, though. Unless it goes on, like, sale or something, then maybe. But um, right now, I'm okay with Oh, and I just filmed a video about lip glosses. That should be up soon. Now we're on eyeshadow palettes. If you want a video dedicated to like blush, bronzers, highlighters, let me know for sure if you want to see more on those. Um, or like a face palette video, face, face products video. Let me know for sure. I can do that. I can do like a favorites kind of video of 
each step of my makeup maybe. I don't know. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.